Protesters shut down a Madison school board meeting last night, causing a delay in the vote to approve the district's proposed $415 million budget. Well, those protesters chanted how they don't want a police presence in schools and will not support a budget that puts money towards police instead of school counselors. Our Jamie Perez spoke with both sides about what happened last night. She joins us now in the news center with more. Jamie? So this particular group has been coming to board meetings for the last two years. Board members say they welcome public input, but in a way that they can still conduct their meetings as scheduled. While something like this has never happened before, this group that spoke out at yesterday's meeting says they hope their message was loud and clear. This group known as Freedom Inc. has been showing up to Madison Metro school board meetings for years. But last night, these chants caused the meeting to shut down. Last night, uh, it felt like people came to purposely disrupt the meeting. And what's disruptive is them continuing to put money into police and, and instead of putting it into our youth. The board was supposed to vote on a more than $415 million budget, but had to postpone based on what board president Mary Burt called an unacceptable protest. It was disappointing. It was, she continues to silence us and continues to ignore our messages. Their message of concern over police presence on school grounds. Lisa. No races! No races! Freedom Inc. doesn't support any budget that continues to invest money into the criminalization of children and not into their growth and development. Mary says the school has done their research to show that police presence is recommended. We have had an ERO ad hoc committee studying this issue for the last year and a half, a topic that we will be looking at with regards to renewing the contract uh, with Madison Police for the 2019 20 um, school year. Around school safety, around school shootings as an excuse to keep police in schools. Bianca says instead of investing money for cops on campus, that money should be used towards counselors. Mary said that kind of support is already in the budget. We have those supports built into the budget. Freedom Inc. says they will continue to show up to school board meetings to achieve their goal of removing all police presence from school grounds. No cops! In school. No cops! The district said they will have another meeting scheduled for tomorrow afternoon to decide on that budget. Again, Mary Burke says the board welcomes public comments made at these meetings. Bianca said members from Freedom Inc. will continue to voice their concerns at those meetings until they feel that something is done about it. Jamie Perez in our news center. Jamie, thank you.